Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closet where we get to gossip all about fashion, beauty, and everything in between. So, let's get started. Alright you guys, on so today's video, in today's video, I gotta say, this is probably the most excited I've been for a perfume. I have here the Billie Eilish perfume, and I have been waiting for this perfume for the longest. Ever since I saw the bottle, I immediately knew I needed to have it. I didn't care about the notes. So finally, I have the perfume here, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open it. This is going to be my first impressions, and I'm going to just describe the perfume to the best of my knowledge or the best of my ability for you guys. So let me open it up and let's get to the scents. All right, so here we have the presentation of the perfume. It comes in this little box, which is, I think, really, really cute. And then you take out the perfume out of the box and it looks like this. And I gotta say, I am in love with the packaging. It's just so beautiful, so elegant, so bougie and I like it. So this is a 3.4 fluid ounce and it is an Elda Parfum. All right, so now I'm just going to take it out of the shrink wrap. All right, so here we have the bottle and I gotta say, whoa, you guys, this bottle is so, so pretty. It's so elegant and I absolutely love it so I don't know if this is part of the design but there's like a little scratch right here it's like a really big scratch I don't know if you guys can see on camera but the bottle is beautiful I gotta say the bottle has some nice weight to it and I absolutely love 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 this bottle it's definitely unique something that I have never seen in the perfumes you know they always do have like the body perfumes like you know like Kim Kardashian, Nicki Minaj, Jean Paul Gaultier but I've never seen something like this so this is beautiful so yeah a plus for the bottle all right so now i'm going to read the top notes for this perfume so the top notes it says on the website delicate sugar petals ascended by juicy mandarin and red berries invite you to experience this alluring sense the heart note says immerse yourself at the heart of the fragrance as it unfolds with a soft spices rich cocoa and creamy vanilla okay that sounds delicious all right so the base notes it says sleek woods and alluring musk leave a lasting impression this is a warm sensual and powerfully you so what i'm getting from this perfume is going to be something sweet and musky and i am absolutely those are my type of perfumes i am obsessed with musky sugary sweet perfumes so really quick on fragantica i'm gonna read the notes on here it says it has top notes of sugar red berries and mandarin orange the middle notes are cacao, spicy notes, vanilla, and rose. The base notes are tonka bean, musk, amber, and woody notes. So, moment of truth. And I gotta say, so this is what the bottle looks like. You can't take the bottle out, which is, I actually like that you can't. So, it's just one bottle. So, here we have how it looks. And now, I'm gonna spray it on my hand. I'm gonna do three sprays just to see just for i don't know for good luck i guess okay i i definitely i can already smell it here we go oh my god you guys wow okay i am in love i am in love with this perfume so at first you can smell something creamy like a creamy vanilla a creamy coconut but it's not a basic creamy vanilla or coconut there's something in here that's making that creamy more tropical but it's not tropical either but it's kind of like in between creaminess and sweetness and tropical that is something in the middle of it i don't know it kind of smells like if you put on a vanilla lotion on your body and the oils in your body just mixes mixes it with that vanilla it gives you that creaminess of a vanilla but yeah i don't know it's so pretty it's so elegant it's so warm i absolutely love it i absolutely love this perfume oh my god you guys it's so beautiful it's creamy it's vanilla i don't smell spices in here but i do smell 
berries so think of it as if you're dunking strawberries into like whipped cream sugar and just all that sweetness think of it as a vanilla milkshake with strawberries in it but you can taste more of vanilla than strawberries but you can kind of taste the strawberry in it i know it doesn't have notes of like freesia or strawberries but it's kind of giving me that uh that sweetness yeah you guys i don't know this is beautiful this is elegant this kind of reminds me of like a like a like a i don't want to say sexy day night but it's more like a when you're just in love with somebody and you just want them to smell you and compliment you this is what i would wear to hypnotize that person if that makes any sense but it's just very sweet it's a really nice creamy sweet perfume so if you are into sweet and creamy perfumes you're going to like this one but this is it's not just sweet sweet well it kind of is just sweet sweet but it's also very i don't know soft and tropical i don't want to say it, it's too tropical because it's not but there's something in here that takes it away from just being a nothing but sweet perfume i feel like it's a little bit more than just a sweet perfume i hope that makes sense right now that it's drying down more and more on my skin yeah, you guys, I smell um, a sweet vanilla milkshake or sweet vanilla with uh, banana milkshake in it. Like a sweet vanilla banana milkshake. That's what this smells like. Or like a toasted marshmallow. That's what this also reminds me of. Oh my God. Yes, a toasted marshmallow, you guys. This is so, oh my God, this is so pretty. I really hope this is not like a limited edition. I hope this is like a permanent perfume because I do see myself going through this a lot. It is a perfect perfume for the winter time. I feel like this is a trans transition perfume from like October, November, December, and January, even February. It's definitely a nighttime, wintertime perfume. But I also see it as a maybe everyday type of wear perfume. I don't think this is a special occasion like a wedding type of perfume. Even though I feel like you can wear that in those type of occasions. But I do see this like maybe if you work at an office. Or if you want to go to like the movies out for dinner. Or just have a sexy day night with your loved one. This is something that I personally would wear for that. So yeah, you guys, final thoughts on this. I absolutely love it. I am obsessed with this scent. It is so beautiful, so elegant, and so sweet. I do smell the vanilla. I do smell the sugar. I do smell the berries. I don't really smell the cacao or tonka bean or the amber on this. It is musky. This is a really nice musky perfume, but it's nice, sweet, and musky. Just like a perfect combination of musk and sweet. But... I think the cacao brings that sweetness, but I feel like the, the vanilla overpowers that so in a good way, though. And yeah, I don't know. I love it. So if you are into vanilla perfumes, if you are into sweet, creamy, delicious perfume, like pastry perfumes, I feel like this is more like a gourmand type of perfume. You're definitely going to like this perfume. And personally for me, I love it. And I'm going to wear it right now because it's just... Ugh, it's, it smells really, really beautiful, you guys. And I want to see how it's going to perform on my skin, on my clothes. And if I get any compliments, which this is a beautiful perfume, I don't see why I wouldn't. But all right, you guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. That is pretty much it for this Billie Eilish perfume. And I got to say, the retail price for this was $68. I think with shipping and everything, I ended up paying $89. I think that's a really, really good deal for what you're getting. The packaging is just elegant it's so beautiful i think it's definitely worth it it did sell out within the first hour i remember i was right there on the website just refreshing refreshing because i did not want to miss this and i'm so glad that i didn't miss it so if you didn't get your hands on it and you want to do it for the next time because it's a must have i love it so yeah you guys let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below if you guys like the perfume if you're gonna buy it or if you did buy it so yeah you guys that is pretty much it for today's video if you are new to my channel hi my name is edgar O, and i'm obsessed with everything in the beauty world especially perfumes so if you are into all of that please stick around and click that subscriber button because i would like to have you part of the club but all right you guys i can't wait till we gossip on our next one till then i'll see you next time bye